friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a very soft cataract you can see radial lines in the lens mass we can call this a cycle spoke cataract let us observe surgery of this very soft cataract this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratom on the posterior aspect of the limbus let some blood ooze out it is good healing becomes very nice if there is some bleeding and if the incision is on the posterior aspect of the limbus this is a side port on the right side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and this is another side port on the left side about same distance away and now the anti capsule is incised with a 26 case bent needle cystitum the capsular tag is held with the help of a uh, uterator forceps i go and coys remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus i do an adequate sized rexis in soft cataracts my aim is to do a rexis between 5.5 mm and 6 mm now as i do hydro dissection see the lens mass gets tilted and this is good if this happens don't try to reposit the lens mass into the capsula bag just start eating up the lens the portion which is just above the plane of the anterior capsule that is the supracapsular portion of the lens mass just eat it up face the lens mass with the phaco needle and just eat it up in this case i decided to go only with the phaco needle and i decided to keep the chopper outside if the chopper is required i will go in otherwise i will just remain out now see how it happens as i start eating off the lens mass it is a soft cataract and the whole thing gets it enough in just few seconds and now at this time the needle bevel of the needle is up towards the cornea and it is done so soft cataracts if the lens get tilted by hydro dissection just start eating it up this was a soft cataract it can be managed without using ultrasonic energy but if we use about 10 to 20% ultrasonic energy it gets removed faster and we must not spend lot of time in the anterior chamber a large dose of bss is poisonous to the cornea yes even water in huge dose is poisonous if we work in the anterior chamber and lot of fluid movement occurs in the anterior chamber for a longer time this is not good for corneal endothelium so we should finish off the surgery as quickly as possible but meticulously we must give adequate time but unnecessarily we must not spend a lot of time in the anterior chamber and now viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber capsular bag and the anterior chamber is filled up and in this case i'm going to use a b cartridge and a multipiece intraocular lens so the main end was enlarged 
Now the size of the wound is about 3.1 millimeter. Now this is a sensor multipiece intraocular lens. The cartridge is rotated clockwise and as the lens comes out the tip of the cartridge is rotated anti-clockwise. The piston is rotated clockwise and the cartridge is rotated anti-clockwise. And now here it is with the help of a MacPherson's forceps the trailing haptic goes into the capsular bag. And now this plastic substance has been irrigated out first by Simco and then by the irrigating probe of bimanual IA and this is the final lavage for removal of viscoelastic substance and then the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the stab wounds and then the antechamber is formed very nicely in this case what I want to emphasize is if by hydro dissection the lens gets tilted just start engulfing the supracapsular portion of the lens mass and you will find that you will finish off the surgery very fast this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed by a gentle stream of BSAs the anterior chamber is nicely formed integrity of the wounds are checked and then few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface see how beautifully the optic is covered by the capsular rim in this case thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence